Hey guys, Tyoxy here, and I'm going to be telling you guys why I got into YouTube. I've gotten this question asked a lot of times, and you know, I decided since I hit 1,000 subscribers, I should probably just, you know, tell you guys why and like the kind of the whole backstory to it. You know, like why and how I even got into YouTube. So it all started on April 21st, 2013, and I was just, you know, in private match with my little brother, we were doing some split screen stuff, and I hit this like tomahawk across the map, you know, in private match, like, and my brother, he was AFK, he wasn't even like playing at the time, and I just randomly decided to throw a tomahawk, and I hit him, and it was on Nuketown, and all, all the stuff, it was a private match, and I've already said that multiple times. And, you know, I thought it was pretty cool at the time, and so I went to theater, you know, just to save it, and there was something that said something, like, like there was an option that said, about rendering to YouTube, and I'm like, wait, YouTube? My channel, I created it on December 1st, 2012, but it was on April 21st, 2013, when I actually uploaded my video. But when I saw this whole, like, render to YouTube thing, I was like, maybe, you know, like, let, let's just, let's click and see what this does. So then Black Ops 2 brought up this little message on how I had to, like, activate my account with it, uh, like, with Black Ops 2, and there's some, I had to go to some website and activate it, so I activated it, and then I hit the render thing and it had like this like loading like bar thingy like on it. I remember that night because April 21st is my sister's birthday. So we were going to go out to eat at Applebee's I'm pretty sure is what it was. And I was like hold on let me just like wait until like this thing loads. You know I, I wanted to see what this is. And finally I, I went to my like YouTube account. I had no subscribers at the time, no videos. It showed that there was some video called like B-Ball Manic Black Ops 2 game clip or something like that because at the time B-Ball Manic that was my PSN So I don't remember exactly how long it was until after I uploaded that like first video But I came out with a video called my setup slash room slash face And you know it's it's pretty self-explanatory on you know what the video was about and you know I use iMovie to edit all my videos I've never used any other program no movie maker after effects Sony Vegas. It's always been iMovie I know it's you know it, it's iMovie look down upon but at the same time it gets the job done so at the time I had just recently started using iMovie because like my sister like she used it for something I don't remember what it was it was no it was one of those movie trailer things because you know an iMovie you can like make little movie trailers so she was messing around with my brother one day they made one and I'm like wait what's that app and she told me it was iMovie so you know I started kind of getting familiar with it and that's when uh, I made a intro for myself and you know it was not the greatest intro uh, none of the ones that I made through iMovie were because they were like a template and I just like cut part of it but I like replaced the stuff in it to like I guess you could say fit me and then from there I would upload my intro and stuff privately and I'd upload like a clip or something I'd render to YouTube privately and then used a vi YouTube video editor I th yeah, that's what it's called YouTube video editor and I would put them together and use one of the like YouTube like they're like a song from the YouTube music that they like Give to you already like I don't know how to explain it if you've used the YouTube video editor You know what I mean? There's like sample music you can just use and I that's how I made my videos for a long time actually up until I think around November of 2013 and then you know eventually I started uh, like just using iMovie a lot more and it just took off from there. So to capture my gameplay, you know, it started off with the rendering to YouTube, then it moved on to setting my phone up on top of like multiple books and like a chair and putting it in front of the TV and turning off the lights. That way, you know, there was no like extra light or anything. And then I'd crop it in iMovie and that's how I'd get my gameplay. And then from there, I bought an easy cap, uh, which, you know, then put black bars on the left and right of my screen. And then I eventually got an Ogato, which I still have to this day. But, you know, it's just it's weird to think all these little stages I went through just, you know, to capture my gameplay. So for my IRL videos, it started off with like an iPhone 5, then to an iPhone 6, and now with this Canon. And it's it's cool, you know, just to see, as I said, kind of with the whole gaming recording, it's just cool to see the way, you know, stuff advances, like within the channel. So yeah, guys, you know, it's not really my whole history on YouTube, it's more just you know, as I said, why and kind of how I got into YouTube. I wasn't trying to. As I said, you know, I was just experimenting. I saw the whole render to YouTube thing and one thing led to another and I just thought it was fun. You know, I still think it's fun. I do all this for a hobby because it's 
as I said, it's a hobby and I enjoy doing it. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed, you know, listening to the story. And yeah, thank you guys all once again for 1,000 subscribers. You know, as I said, and hopefully you guys enjoy the story. And have a good day, guys. And I'll see you guys later.